cut the meat, it's important that when you cut it, you cut it into thin little slices like this. We are now going to add it into a mixing bowl and add a bit of flour. Quickly. And then we're going to add the spices. So we've got a little bit of pepper. We can use coarse pepper. We can use, I, I, I enjoy using multicolored pepper like this, mixed pepper berries and some salt for good measures there you go do you know what we always do we do a bit of salt and it just behind for good luck and a little bit of paprika yeah that's maybe a bit too much now we mix it up so that the flour and the spices all gets to every bit of the meat i've already put the pot on uh, the, the pan on so to see if it is hot i take one of these slices and I put them on it, it should be, yeah, this is perfect. So I'm going to try to put each piece in. It's like bacon. It looks like bacon. Same animal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we put these in. Make sure that this will cook very, very quickly. And the trick here is that you don't overcook it because if you overcook it, it will become very tender, no, very hard. You want to keep it nice and tender. That's also part of the flour. That it retains some of the moisture and the spices. So let's take this out. Okay. You're panning up, panning down. Pan up, pan down. And okay. now what we have to do is we prepare the onions. My favorite part is to cut the onions very, not too finely, but peel the onions. Make sure that we keep that the outer bits of the onions. If, if this is really steady cooked, you will be losing it. <laughs> Here we go. Amma, prima donna, por favor. You are saving yourself, why am I boring? <laughs> okay, here we are. So now watch it. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Mm. So I could do this by watching you and actually you know even what I'm doing. You could add, you could add color to the fish, natural color. Okay, make sure that you can the turn it around. You don't want to. Make sure oh, that you seal, seal them basically all these little pieces. Make sure that every piece is sealed. sealed. Okay, a little bit longer. Mm. Can you see the? I wish you could smell this. You can see the colors of the meat. Can you nice? Dark color. Let's put on the pasta water, turn that up, add a bit of salt to the pasta water. Here we are. Um, there you go. So you just want to make sure that you must make sure that everything is is cooked through. Okay. Boiling, just put this into the pan with the bowl over here. Okay. Okay, so what we do now, we use the same pan, add a bit more oil. The flavors of the meat are there. Add the onions. Okay. Good. Now that the water is boiling over here, you want to make sure that the onions don't burn, so you add butter. Uh, actually, 
actually it's the other way around, that the, the, you add butter and the oil makes sure that the, that the onions don't burn. We're going to sweat the onions now. This is boiling. Take our tether in. This will take about five minutes because it's fresh. So in five minutes we should be ready with this dish here as well. Okay. So now another trick with the garlic is we're going to melt the garlic. You saw me smash it before in the other videos, now we're going to melt it. So to, to melt the garlic, you some salt, you squash it, and then you start to, to, to mush it up. The salt will actually help it, help it melt. And the melted garlic, is, you make it like garlic paste. Once that is done, you add that to your dish. Potatoes here today watching Chef Andre in action. Now that this is done, we add the mushrooms. Mushrooms are very high in water, high water content. And what we also do is we have a look at the pasta and we still give it a good stir just to make sure that the pasta actually we should turn this down and make it simmer. Because it would be too, it would cook too, it would cook too violently. We don't like violence in the kitchen. We are not a Gordon Ramsay kitchen here. We're a German kitchen. Ready to get more violence? You think so? <laughs> okay. So now that we've got all of this here, we're going to cut the parsley. Just cut, wash. We wash the parsley. We're just going to cut the end bits of the parsley. This, chop it a bit finer. Once this is now getting ready, you make sure the mushrooms don't escape. Up and down and into the pot. Missed. <laughs> okay. So we do, what we add now is pesto la distance is the white wine. Let's sweat a bit more. Let the alcohol of this evaporate. And you can see that the flour that was left in the pan is already starting to bind and make it to a little bit of a sauce. Now what you do is turn down the heat. Because you're going to add the cream next. If it's too hot, the cream will split. You add the cream. Mm. Does this look yummy? Mmm. Or hmm. What does mmm mean? Looks yummy. Okay. 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 This. So now we're just going to let it cook up quickly. Now what we have to do is get a plate ready, a serving plate. There we are. Uh, that's the plates. I think we are. This is the one I'm looking for. To boil up my this is starting to boil. Add the meat. Let's give that a good stir. Zürcher Geschnetzeltes from Zürich with the pork, so it's not the original. But the pork the nice thing about this dish, you can use any meat really that you like. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with pork. Beef? Beef, yeah, veal. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Now, this should be ready. 
So let's have a look at the pasta. I'd like to show it right now, we don't have a ceiling. <laughs> it is ready, so we're going to drain it. The secret there is as well, if, you, if the sauce, if there's not, if the sauce, if there's not enough sauce, take some of the pasta water, which you can because it's nice and spicy, nice, and you add that to this, just to thin the, thin the sauce slightly. Take the pasta, drain the pasta. This is coming to boil. Take the pasta. Add the pasta. Like so. Chopped parsley, like this. Mm, this is looking yummy. Mm. This is nice. Yeah. Do you want to get the gang? Product producer, do you want to get the gang? Come on, producer, get the gang. And now we are not going to do this because the producer will kill me. So I'm going to add this over the dish like this. And there you have it. A Zürcher Geschnetzelte, oh, Geschnetzeltes Zürcher Art, prepared in, I think, 10 minutes, voila.